In the past week or so, goalkeeper Brendan Cummins started the process of making sure he's mentally tuned in for Sunday's game. You kind of self-talk all the time to yourself, trying to reassure yourself, because if you go into an arena with, what, 85,000 people there, you know, you really do have to back yourself. And it's not something you can wake up on the Sunday morning and say, right, I'm playing all Ireland final today, I'll be fine. So it's little things you can do along the line. Every player has their routines, you know, that you stick to, and you make sure you can keep it as normal, as natural as possible for yourself. Would it be when you're working that you'd give yourself those affirmations or yeah, a, driving or, you know? Yeah, you know, all the time, you know. I mean, sometimes your mind will drift, you know, and you can picture catching a ball on, on the day and getting a bit of confidence from that or, you know, puck out to find somebody, some little things like that, and then it, it drips away from you again. But every time you have thoughts in the game, it's, it's really, really important, I suppose, experience has showed me that it's real positive thoughts, you know, that you have and you block out any negative voices that are coming to the back of your head because we all have the little guy in the back of the head who's roaring, you can't do this, you know, but I think the good sports player is the person who can dampen that voice down. Tipperary got what they were looking for last September. Now they're back for more. Kilkenny have been the, the best team in the country. They've seven, I think, in the last ten years, you know, they've, they've won All-Ireland. So, I mean, if you want to be, you know, if you want to put yourself as being a, a good player, you want to play against the best, and there's no doubt Kilkenny have been that consistently over the years. Now we're trying to build in that consistency, and we want what they've had, you know, that level of success. I think both sides, I mean, will have their, will have their pressures. I mean, expectations high around both counties. I work below in AIB in Kilkenny, and meeting Kilkenny folk down there, you know, they're saying, oh, but this could be the year now, we have a bit of hurt, you know, and tip supporters then will say, well, we have won it last year, we know how to do it, so we can do it again. So both teams will just put their head down, I think, and, and work as hard as they can. Do you think you're a better team this year? Probably experience-wise will, will, will have added to us. But it's really hard to know. Once the championship was a little bit unusual in that we play Cork and Clare and, and then the Watford game was just a freak result, you know. So Dublin had us, had us really crashing down to earth, I suppose, to say, look, it's, it's really, really serious and exactly what we needed going into play, Kenny. So we've heard Brendan talk about the mental work. We know they've put in months of tough physical training. But Brendan still reckons the deciding factor in Sunday's final could come down to a bit of luck. I think it's going to be a lucky break along the line. I think that's going to be the difference between the two teams. Somebody who fall comes onto a ball that breaks past the inside line defence and gets one on one with a goalie. You know, like we were lucky last year. We had two instances like that, you know, and it fell to Larry who took both chances and like Noel Hickey slipped last year, you know. Like the chance of him slipping again are very, very slim. So please God, it won't be our back to slips, but it is going to be one little moment like that along the line, I think, that's going to, going to separate the teams. All the training comes down to one little slice of luck. With all eyes on them, whatever.